Awesome. What's up guys, Slippery here and welcome back to a, another video here today on the channel guys and yes, we are on FIFA 22 at the minute today and this, um, the whole point of this um, review guys isn't, um, I don't I suppose it isn't like a professional review or like um, I've planned it out or anything, it's just like of what I've played so far and what I just think of the game really, so like, I don't know, kind of simple, it's not like, you know, you should do this and do this and like, I don't know, like the amount of copies sold shows it, I, I don't know, it, you know, you know what I mean, it's not going to be like, it's going to be like a simple review on FIFA 22, and um, by the way, just before I do start guys, I, um, I apologise for the lack of videos recently, but um, yeah, I'll try and catch up with them, including my Plants vs Zombies Grandmaster series and also um, Minecraft Survival episode thingy my Rob thing. So yeah, and also plus some other content as well, guys. So anyways, let's get into the review then. So first of all, I I absolutely love the HUD on this game. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, they brought back like kind of like the old like classic kind of interface here, didn't they? Because I remember in previous Fifas, in like FIFA 21, 20, and 19, they only uh, they had like a different layout, kind of like thing. I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, but like it's kind of like, I suppose like rectangular or um, like vertical, you could say. But um, in this game, it is horizontal, which is yeah, which I do prefer because it is easier to access. And, um, and, um, yeah, get to wherever you want to go. So, yeah, just in general, guys, I think this game looks absolutely amazing, um, just in general. And also, first thing I wanted to say was about the controls. So maybe if you're a new FIFA player, uh, new FIFA player, the controls in this game is quite easy. And obviously, on each FIFA, they had, like, new skill moves and, like, new features and that. And there's, like, loads and loads of them. Um, new features in the game is hypermotion technology, which is basically they've um, recorded several 11 versus 11 uh, football matches in real life and basically taken like the body movements, like body language from that match, and then basically inserted it into FIFA here so it looks way more realistic. And also like the ball physics and like the how the characters run or like tackle is way more realistic as well, which is very cool. And it's up to like, I believe like over like a thousand animations up close or like just in general in the game. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome guys. Um, next, um, yeah, it's just with in general in the gameplay. I feel like the gameplay is a little bit quicker then um, FIFA 21, which obviously I do like. I know I have actually read quite a lot of reviews on people saying it's a bit slow. It feels a bit like kind of heavier to play. But in my opinion, I think it's the complete opposite. It feels like very kind of fast paced, like, you know, get the ball up there, one touch, shoot, goal, kind of that stuff. Not really like, obviously you can play like, you know, pass, pass, pass and gradually do it. But when you're online or like you want to go all out attack on like career mode or something, literally all you do is just pass it maybe like twice in the midfield, boot it up, get play on it, dribble around some defenders, one one touch, bang, that's it. It feels very, very, very quick, um, in my opinion, and quicker than FIFA 21. So, yeah, there is a, um, obviously, apart from, like, the stereotypical, like, people saying that there isn't much change or, like, FIFA 21 is exactly the same as, like, FIFA 10. There is a lot of change in this game, definitely, guys, obviously, like I said. Um... And, um, yeah, as well, just, just stuff like Volta and, like, playing in general is um, way different as well. So, I'm just going to go over, like, the different modes and all that. Lots so obviously, you got all these modes you can see here, guys. So you've got Season, which is, um, obviously, play co-op with friends and rank up or just um, go on your own. And basically, it's basically, like... Yeah, it's basically friendlies, man. It's like 10 divisions, try and work your way up to the top and have a little bit of fun. So, yeah, that's essentially um, what it is. And obviously with all the new, um, obviously all the new, like the ball physics, like the character physics, the new balls, the new kits, the new stadiums, the new stadium sounds, the like... I suppose like the new fan reactions as well. The net physics is really good by actually scoring a goal. 
looks awesome like when the net bulges and that but um yeah new cutscenes absolutely everything man absolutely everything you can imagine of has been improved and also um all those bits that i said have been implemented into the game so yeah that's, pr that's pretty cool as well and even like i know you like obviously don't see it but even like when like the ball deflates when you hit it and like the textures on the ball when like you dribble or whatever it's just like you know it's just really nice and it makes it more realistic so um yeah anyways um to do with seasons all that all the content is included in each of these modes here so um yeah seasons i think is pretty much the same apart from i think there's a i can't remember i think there's like a new feature to do with um like the teams or like what opponents you go against i'm not sure what it fully is but i think it's like new in that pro clubs it's quite simple so you get your player from the last um like season or something or last fifa i suppose and yeah you play as normal really and once again um all the graphics and all the physics are in there as well career mode now this is one of the biggest um things guys is career modes man there has been a lot and i mean a lot of changes to career mode um and that is really good because career mode is my favorite road man I, I don't know why i just absolutely love it it's just something so excited about hopping in as a manager and controlling your own team and making transfers and that so yeah that's pretty awesome so some of the changes to career mode is that in the player um no no not player um in the club career mode you can now obviously create a club which is an absolutely massive thing so obviously you can get your own kit stadium theme sounds like um i don't know pitch goal nets like stadium color you know you can get absolutely everything man you can choose what division you're in and that is massive that is absolutely huge for fifa and also as well in the player career um you've got more like i think there's like more objectives there's like more help there's like more analysis obviously i think more cutscenes as well and uh, um, stuff like that and that's the same with the career mode there's so much there's so many more cutscenes man it's like insane like you know if you score a last minute goal there'll be a new cutscene you know you might be able to see in the dressing room there'll be a new cutscene there'll be like a light show on certain stadiums it's just awesome man it's absolutely awesome and obviously the conference league has been added to uh, career mode as well which i'm actually doing a west ham um conference league career mode with me and um no i'm not um going to be doing a series on this west ham one um i might be doing a series on a um on a team soon but obviously of the last career mode it got deleted whatever which is pretty depressing but yeah i just felt like just doing a career mode on my own really at the minute but i will just show you a little bit into it so um, yeah, fourth at the minute in the league. So yeah, this is all the same, like really round here. I think the player grows a little bit different. Um, sort of here is not any different. Neither is this. Obviously, conference league is added. But yeah, I'm just doing a conference league um, career mode at the minute. And so yeah, I basically replaced Tottenham. And so Tottenham are now in the Europa League. But yeah, I just felt like doing that because I don't know might as well play the new competition so yeah that is career mode also um yeah when you buy players as well there's stuff like new cutscenes and like uh, more realistic like deals and stuff like that so it's pretty cool ultimate team obviously a massive thing in fifa and yeah man i don't play ultimate team really it sounds a bit harsh but i kind of i don't know i don't really care about it it doesn't really interest me like opening packs and like I don't know, completing necessary season, buying players, selling players. I, I don't know why. Obviously, in career mode, it does, but you don't open packs. Now. And also, as well, man, FIFA is a hard game to play against online people, and I kind of suck a little bit. So, I know, I don't really enjoy it that much. It just feels like saying, I don't know, I just can't be bothered to grind, really. But, um, yeah, that, that's mainly my explanation. But, obviously, yeah, there's obviously new players in that like way more objectives and like cards and like i think there's a new mode as well um more features you know everything you can think of man is in there volta now th now this is very interesting because obviously you've got new cosmetics in the game um you've got also stuff like new modes i think there's like a tennis mode you've got obviously you reset your like kind of like story mode you've got volta arcade 
can see here. Um, I'm not actually, wait, let me see what it is. Um, what is Volta Arcade? I'm not sure what that is, but um, yeah, there's just way more uh, modes you can play as well, offline and online. And um, yeah, just overall like a new um, like gameplay really. Obviously, up close is going to be a little bit different to the last FIFA because all the new graphics and like features and that. And on the quick mode um, thing as well, you've got a very, very awesome intro where you meet football legends um, in the game. And you ba it's basically an introduction, so you like learn how to pass, learn how to like, do certain drills, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you get to play a game as well, which is pretty awesome. Practice arena, um, I suppose kind of normal, obviously, like if I select a player now, um, I don't think it's changed. Well, actually, no, it might have changed here because like, you can see all like the attributes of each player and change teams as well. So yeah, it has changed a little bit. Um, let's just say, I don't know, I'll go Max Aaron's or something. And then play, can I play? Um, please let me know. Actually, no, let's go for Saka. Let's go Saka, but I'm not sure how to play low. Um, okay, Saka. Can you let me play? Uh, maybe if I do it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, if I do this, guys, yeah, that makes sense. Right, so, yeah, basically, obviously, you can set whatever player you want there. You've got new kits as well. But, yeah, look, look at this. Look, new, I suppose there is new animation. So, as you can see up close, it's a little bit more detailed. All physics are a little bit different as well. That was shot. Ooh, that was a good save. <laughs> that was a very good save. Let's see if we can score a goal here. Let's do use of some pointless skills that I don't know how to do. <laughs> Oh, no, terrible shot. Go back again. Fake. No. Oh, no, he will. I will get this goal, guys. I promise you, I will get this goal. Right, let's go top bins. Oh, no, not top bins. Right. Um, also, as well, I've noticed that the gameplay is, like, way, way closer to what the player arena used to be. Like, it's like you're actually, like, Bakai Saka, I suppose, which is pretty awesome. No, once again, I, oh man, I suck at this game, but obviously I still really like it. Go on. Oh, so close. Please. Come on, I need to get this goal. Yes. There we go. And obviously as well, if you go up close again, I can't remember what button it is. Yeah, you, I think you press the top D-pad, I'm not sure, but obviously you can take penalty. So if I just go bottom left of Saka and he'll save it. And yeah, man, that wasn't me. That was Saka because... Yeah, we all know what happened in the Euro <laughs> in the Euro finals. Oh man, that still haunts me to this day. But let's let's try and score a penalty just for Saka, man. Come on, we got a score penalty for Saka. That was a good save by Courtois, but there we go. Penalty scored. Bada bing, bada boom. Anyways, let's leave um this quickly and show you the other things. So yeah, obviously uh, next you've got skill games which has changed a lot because we've got um, all the different, um, how can I say, all like the different drills and stuff. I have done every single one because, believe it or not, there is a trophy for completing all skill games that only 0.1% of people have. So, yeah, this took me like an hour to do all this and obviously get at least a D, which is, um, which is uh, pretty cool, as you can see here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, next, we've got tournaments. I'm not really sure of this. I think it's the same apart from obviously new tournaments, online friendlies, pretty cool as well. And kickoff is um, has a lot of features actually. You can play against um, obviously a second controller, but there's a thing called competitive master switch, which I think takes like gameplay from like, actual professionals and is implemented into the game, which sounds pretty cool and is pretty cool because I've tried it. And, um, yeah, obviously, like I said, new kits and stuff um, like that. So is there anything else here apart from that? So play. Can you, can you, right, no, there isn't. So anyways, guys, that is basically a full summary of FIFA 22. And, yeah, man, it is an awesome game. And my, I suppose, my review on the game is that 
Um, yeah, I think out of 10 so far, I will, I will seriously rate this game 10 out of 10. It is an awesome game, awesome gameplay. And yeah, man, everything um, obviously in there is, um, well, I don't think of the right words. Uh, everything that you basically expect to get is in there, is what I'm trying to say. So um, yeah, whatever you pay for is what you're getting, which is, I know it's obvious, but yeah, man, it, re it really is awesome. The new kits, uh, the gameplay, just like in general, just like feeling, you know, like playing in the new competitions and like um play with like new um stuff as well i don't know it's just like really cool obviously playing with the hyper motion technologies like an example and stuff like that so yeah i think definitely get this game in the future if you're interested i'd say definitely buy this game this game is awesome obviously like i said all the other stuff as well that i mentioned like new modes and kits and all that lot but um yeah guys that is pretty much it i've shown you all the um, things in FIFA 22 so far and actually no before we do go I might just show you quickly if I just go to um, I don't know, just go to kick off or whatever just play as anything and don't really care um, let's go to home I might I'm just gonna show you the gameplay quickly so I'm just gonna do classic match whatever whatever do whatever Hello and welcome to the North. So, yeah, this is like just like one of the Jesus opening Christ. scenes here. Um, oh yeah, obviously there's um, new commentators the as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, no Derek Gray, <laughs> which I've seen a couple right of people um, talk about. Or unless, oh no, no, it's not Thanks, Derek Gray, it's well, Lee Dixon. Yeah, Lee Dixon. And oh Bob my God, jeez, that was nearly a goal. But yeah, look, you can see already a difference, man. The graphics, the pitch. The ball, obviously, the physics as well. I don't know. It's absolutely well, awesome, man. I'll see if we can so unlucky not try to take and score the goal just to show you. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. But, um, yeah, man, like I said, if you're interested in this game and you think you want to get it or whatever and, you know, you're wondering to get it, just get it, man. I, I do think it's actually... I don't think it is worth it. And... Um, yeah, I think you guys will definitely enjoy it if you are either new to the game or played FIFA before, so, um, yeah, anyways, let's see we can still get goal, actually, let's rewind that, I might rewind back to here and see if we can score a goal, there we go, can we try and score, oh, penalty ref, that is a penalty! Oh wow, well, that was no, dirty, man! Right, like, this this actually with a with the well, a lot of Callum Wilson. Let's go. On this one. Bottom no right. Card for bottom me. right. Bottom and right. There we go. Smashes it into the net, and you can see the net physics as well, and everything else is implemented into the game. But yeah, man, th you know this game is awesome. Yeah, well, I think it, it really again, is um, really good. Right Let's see here. Smashed it into the net. Fans go crazy. And um, yeah, that's pretty it. That's pretty much it, man. So hopefully, once again, guys, you guys did enjoy it, this um, this video. And um, yeah, man, can't wait to see you in the game. I suppose as they say. So, um, anyways, yeah, see you later. Smoosh.